Hey, I'm John Coley with Lake Martin Voice Realty on a really windy uh, March day, but I thought it'd be a great day to check out the construction of this wooden seawall. Uh, first of all, you need to know about seawall construction at Lake Martin. You have to get Alabama Power Shoreline Management's approval. They have approval status over all the shoreline all over Lake Martin. And then you also have to get approval from your neighborhood if, the, if your neighborhood has covenants. But anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, I just wanted to show this wooden seawall construction that's pretty typical of what we see a lot on, on the lake. Number one, you'll see it's held up by mainly by obviously wood and then backed by wood on the outside and on the inside. And lastly, it has this riprap base. You'll see even on, even on wooden seawalls, that, they're, uh, that most of the folks that do them put a riprap base and that's to help with erosion. So we'll get a little bit more close up, uh, a little bit more close up shots now. And now we're looking kind of on the side of it. You can see with this particular wall, they were able to backfill just a tad. Again, that's gonna be according to how Alabama Power uh, Shoreline Management approves it. Looking from the back of the seawall, this particular one also has what I'm guessing is like a water uh, membrane or a material that helps the um, water not come back through the wall itself. Here's another shot looking at the inside. This particular one, you can tell they appear to have poured some concrete base on the poles. But again, this, your design is going to depend on the needs of your lot. Another thing that I see a lot on wooden seawalls is the use of dead men. And a dead man is just like a post. Uh, it may be wooden, but although it's usually concrete or metal, it basically serves like an anchor. And they sink it down into the ground, like back on the bank like this, and then tie in with metal cables and put, put, the, tent, put t the cables under tension to help hold that seawall true and not to fall over. But again, whether or not your particular lot or your particular uh, setup needs dead men for the wooden seawall, I have no idea. I'm not an engineer. And two, some people ask me what are the advantages and disadvantages of a wooden seawall. I'd say the advantages are it's less expensive than concrete. They're usually a little more expensive than a pure riprap wall. Um, you do have more people that can work on wooden seawalls because, well, there's just it's not as specialized and the equipment is as specialized as a concrete seawall. So you do have more people that can work on them. Um, I think they tend to do better on a on a topography like this that is you know maybe five to six feet in that range. It's not super tall, so you don't have to run like a, you know, a lot of lengths of wood to do it. But I'd say those are some of the advantages and disadvantages. But I'd say on the disadvantage side, it's obviously not as strong as concrete. Wood is going to deteriorate over time. But again, I would encourage you to talk to a seawall contractor with your specific lot or home in mind, and so you can go through the pros and cons. I hope this short video helped you out a little bit to look at wooden seawalls on Lake Martin. I don't do wooden sea walls, don't call me, but I do sell real estate here. So if you need help selling or buying waterfront property on Lake Martin, I'd love to help you out. My name is John Coley and I'm with Lake Martin Voice Realty. Thanks a lot.